We are leaving Earth as it's an emergency takeoff. Half an hour from now, our sun will swallow Earth. Pack your suits and be ready in your space shuttles. We're going to the Proxima Centauri B in 4, 3, 2, 1. How long does it will take to reach there? Will we survive? Well, just imagine if humanity leave Earth to settle on Proxima Centauri B. That's right there. Proxima Centauri B. The closest potential habitable planet out there. Its temperature are in the breathable range. And it could have just the right breathable atmosphere. Even though humanity might not be able to leave the Earth now. But we should start preparing for this soon. Not only it could take centuries to set up the relocation program, but uh, it would take generations to move to a potential new planet, Proxima Centauri B. It could be our new home. We only have to get there. When astronomers started finding planets outside our solar system, we call them exoplanets. We realize that there are many worlds out there. That means or doesn't have to be our home forever. And that what we don't have to die with our planet when the sun swallow it some 5 billion years from now. Now that we have found over 5,599 exoplanets, we have learned something rather disappointing. Not all exoplanets are good for humans to live on. Most of the worlds we have encountered are either ice giants like Neptune or gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn. Only 200 of those planets are terrestrial like Earth. And when it comes to sustain human life, being terrestrial isn't quite enough. Proxima Centauri B is very promising. It orbits a red dwarf star called Proxima Centauri in a system with three stars in it. Proxima Centauri is small. It only has the 7.5% and 50% of our sun's mass. That's a good thing because the red dwarf Proxima Centauri is so much smaller than our yellow dwarf sun. It burns at a lower temperature. It takes stars like Proxima Centauri much longer to burn though all of their hydrogen supply because of that Proxima Centauri has a lifetime of trillions of years while our sun has a 10 billion years expiration time that alone makes Proxima Centauri be a good candidate for relocation and the fact that its orbit lies in Proxima Centauri's habitable zone that means there is the potential for liquid water and comfortable surface temperature. If we are lucky, Proxima Centauri B would have an atmosphere that we could breathe in. If it does, the temperature would be around 30 degrees Celsius. But there are a few problems. A trip to Proxima Centauri B would be long and very dangerous. Proxima Centauri B might be the closest habitable exoplanet we have got. But that doesn't mean it's close. The red dwarf star Proxima Centauri is about 4.3 light years away. That means if you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you 4.3 light years to get there. Nothing we have built so far can reach that kind of speed. Realistically, a trip to Proxima Centauri B in a space shuttle would take around 165k years. That's right, some of the colonists would be born in the transit, some of them would never see the Earth, some of them would never see Proxima Centauri B. They would just live their life in the spaceship and die in space. According to some calculation, 98 people would be just enough. Their descendants would arrive at the Proxima Centauri B with enough genetic diversity to populate the entire planet. And that's accounting for possible cases of infertility, inbreeding, 
and sudden death. In those calculations, the crew would be traveling on something faster than a space shuttle. Their mission to Proxima Centauri B would take only 6,300 years. But don't be surprised, technology is constantly improving. Right now, a scientific and technological program called Breakthrough Initiative is looking at how we can get to the neighborhood of Proxima Centauri B within one generation. Their project, Shashad, is working on an ultralight unmanned probe that would reach the star system in just 20 years. But uh, Proxima Centauri B is uh, really, really far away. It's so far that we can't even see if it has an atmosphere. It might just happen that we would arrive at a frozen planet with surface temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. And even if it has an atmosphere, it might not be the right one. We might still enjoy above temperatures, but we would be doing that in space suits with oxygen tanks. Or Proxima Centauri B could be a tidally locked to Proxima Centauri, meaning once the planet side would always face its star, and the other side would be plunged into darkness. Space flight itself could bring some unpleasant surprise. Spending an entire lifetime in a zero gravity environment would lead the crew members to lose muscles and bone density. They would be constantly exposed to the space radiation. Their microbiomes, immune system, and psychology would all be different from ours. They would not be the same kind of human as we are. They would change their values and culture. They might forget all the farming techniques. We would teach them to sustain themselves in the space and uh, on their new planet. They might change their mind about the mission altogether and just turn their spaceship into a different direction. Who knows, they might come back to the Earth. So we would have to choose the space travelers very, very carefully. Supply them with all the food and water and make sure they could become self-sustaining. We would have to design new propulsion, navigation, hibernation and life support system. And we have no way, until now, we have no way of knowing if Proxima Centauri B is actually habitable. Well, of course, this is a little scary to leave Earth right now as we don't know if it's safe to go on Proxima Centauri B or not. But of course, some days we have to leave the Earth because it would not survive forever and we have to find new ways, new planets to expand the humanity. So what about Mars colonization? Well, for that video, check out this video. And for such amazing videos, keep watching. Just imagine.